Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This time it is not full self-driving. I am interviewing Sandy Monroe. I was at the Tesla summer meetup in Michigan, in Muskegon, Michigan. There were 15 Cybertrucks. I met a lot of people. You can see this photo here. This is Dr. Scott Walter. I got a chance to meet with Jim, Iowa Tesla guy. Also Mike in Bearded Tesla, Justin. There was an awesome light show. It was so, so great. It was really spectacular to see it in person. If you've never been to a Tesla meetup event, I highly recommend it. Not only do you get to meet a lot of really cool people, but you get to see a lot of cool stuff. I also got a chance to meet with Tess Latino. I love this guy and a lot of famous people here as well. Lars came in from Denmark. He runs Best in Tesla. Brian White, Rebellionaire, so that's Matt Smith. John, who runs Tesla Owners Silicon Valley. So many awesome uh, interactions with people. And Sandy Monroe, of course. This is uh, Jan Tesla Fix and also Robin from Robin TV. You can see here Robin close up and Sandy and Dr. Know It All. John was there and Chris Dirty Tesla, the man, the myth, the legend. I got a chance to ride, not ride, but sit inside of a roadster. There were two roadsters at this event. It was really awesome. I also had the wonderful opportunity and the great pleasure to interview Sue Monroe. This is Sandy's lovely wife. It was a great discussion, so stay tuned to the end to see that interview as well. Without further delay, let's go ahead and jump straight into the interview with Sandy Monroe. Hey everybody, I'm here with Sandy and I am sitting inside of his Cybertruck. <laughs> and Sandy, as everybody knows, has tore down the Cybertruck yeah. and has a lot of experience kind of looking under the hood. Yeah. I'm very curious to hear from your perspective what the top three features are of the Cybertruck. The top three features of the Cybertruck. Okay, so I would say that number one is um, the 48 volt system with the ethernet ring. Um, this reduces the weight significantly. It increases the speed of communication with the ethernet ring versus CAN bus. Um, the, um, uh, the weight differential. So we say, you know, how do we get more range? It isn't with a bigger battery, it's get rid of weight and uh, so and and make things more efficient and effective so the efficiency of the uh, battery management systems and whatnot that actually falls under that same category um, number two would be probably self-driving um, i love this there's no connection between the steering wheel no mechanical connection between the steering wheel and the wheels um, that is a huge advantage as far as i'm concerned because again, I get rid of the intermediate shaft, the big mm -hmm. pole that goes from here to there. Um, I can change the configuration while I'm driving. If I'm driving very slow, um, the lock to lock is like 90, 80, 90 degrees. And uh, if I'm, uh, <clears throat> and if I'm uh, driving on the expressway, a little bit goes a long way to, uh, to making uh, you know, make you feel like safe going around the corners and whatnot. Now the, now the pure physics of that with all the friction and the weight on the tires, I have to ask, is the steer by wire uh, a, a risk for damaging anything mechanically? No, not really. Um, and the other thing you might want to know about is that it is triple redundant. So all the motors are double wound and uh, double winding makes a huge difference as far as, uh, as, far as reliability. Um, and there are three electric motors um, in the uh, in the package, so you're you've got a triple redundant system. So um, so for me that 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 that's a really good uh, a really good uh, an exceptionally good uh, feature. And then of course the rear wheel steering. Mm -hmm. This thing turns into like a sports car in the parking lots with rear wheel steering. Um, uh, my my turn radius is like next to nothing. Wow. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So if I was going to pick three, that, that would be the top three right there. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's, it's such a pleasure to, to listen to your <laughs> feedback on that. And it's fascinating to hear because most people would comment, oh, I like the, 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 the trunk or I like the lights or, you know, they, they're cosmetic things where yeah. you're, you're looking at much more the functional aspect of the car. And that, well, I think that goes a long way. Yeah. I will tell you though, um, under the skin is a lot more exciting than the styling and whatnot. Sure. Under the skin on this product is just absolutely, it's just breathtaking. You've never seen it really, before. nobody's seen anything like this mm -hmm. before. So 
I'm really, really happy that I've got it. Um, um, it is very quick and, you know, things that you'd expect out of a Tesla is very fast. Um, I've taken it off road a little bit, but um, I want to have, um, uh, we're, we, myself and one of my guys um, have a little side bet and we're going to be making wheels. And I don't really like any of the Tesla Cybertruck wheels. So we designed our own. And what that's going to do for us is give us, um, it's going to give us um, a wheel that's bulletproof. And the car by, is basically bulletproof, but uh, the wheels are not. <clears throat> so <laughs> by putting a different hub on, that'll be great for off-roading. So wow. I don't have big clumps of mud stuck in, uh, in the wrong place. And, um, and having it bulletproof is just like the rest of the car except for the glass. And um, mm -hmm. and we're working on that too. We're gonna come up with something that gives you bulletproof glass. Oh, that's awesome. So anyhow, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the truck all in all. Um, everything cool. functions as well as I was expecting. Mm -hmm. um, it looks good. I, uh, today was the first day I'd ever got a car wash. I don't know if, you, <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyways, it looks it's clean. been a really, it looks yeah, clean. It, it did a good job. And um, it didn't look clean when I drove in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sandy. A pleasure okay. meeting you. I Great. appreciate it once again. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm here with Sue Monroe, Sandy's wife, a beautiful wife. We are going to talk about her experience with Tesla as, as an owner and also experiencing the self-driving software. Yeah, so I, I don't have 12.4.1 like you, so I got 12.3.6, but um, seeing as I, I understood cruise control, that was easy, lane keeping. But then when you experience full self-driving, it is, it's a remarkable event. It's, mm -hmm. It is truly life-changing when you see a car take control of the driving situation. Right. Um, and it does it so expertly. It, it's so smooth. It rarely makes a mistake. I mean, it has to be a really unusual situation that I put the brakes on and say, oh, that was wrong. I mean, it does roundabouts. It, it, it does exit entrance. It's like I said, it's polite. It sure. lets people in, it navigates construction. I love it. What would you say would be in your, how many years have you been testing or using it now? Oh, not that long. Okay. It's like when 12.3.6 like maybe... came out, that's when I, that's when I got it. Oh, so really? I really, this okay. is for me, maybe a month old only. Wow. So I'm, I okay. like, I'm a relatively new full self, I'm you know, a good. novice. So you, you were using autopilot yeah, prior. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So what has been your best experience, the most mind-blowing experience that you've witnessed behind the wheel with self-driving? If you, if you can think of like just one example, there's probably a lot of them, but yeah, is, there, there is there anything that stands well, out? I, you know, one, the one thing I, I did not think it would do was I did not think it was gonna navigate a roundabout. Because if you know roundabouts, mm -hmm. first off, people don't drive them correctly anyway. So you, right. you're challenged by people just making mistakes. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it, it understood to look for the cars and whether or not they were coming, like if they were gonna come at you or continue on the straightaway, mm -hmm. just blew my mind that it could figure that out and it knows what lane to go in on the roundabout to exit properly. Right. I didn't think that logic would be programmed in there. I was impressed. <laughs> sure, that is yeah. so cool. Well, I've been keeping up with Sandy and Monroe Associates, yeah. all the content, Monroe Live. I love what yeah. you guys are doing. And with some of the teardowns, I understand that you found a little Easter egg yes, inside did. of the car. Which which yeah. model was it that you discovered that? So that's a Cybertruck. That was a Cybertruck. Yeah. And what, what exactly was it? So I don't even know which module it was. I, I don't know if it was a steering module or wh which one it was. Um, but I, I will say when they found it, it, it just blew me away. I mean, who, <laughs> who puts in, hi, Sandy, on a circuit board? What a compliment. Uh, it, what a testament to all the great work he's doing and that Tesla recognizes that. I mean, I, I was so proud. I bet. And I, I was honored. It was like, I bet. that was very special. Oh, very, that's so very special. Cool. So if, if someone were to ask you um, the future of Tesla, where are they headed? What would you, I mean, based on your experience, just kind of seeing things firsthand with the teardowns and everything going on, uh, what, what would you say is Tesla's future? Wow. Okay, so so we have a lot of technology in the Cybertruck, right? We got we got the full self driving, we got forty eight volt, we got steer by wire, we got we got all this stuff. So it's like it's that in itself is groundbreaking mm -hmm. in any car. So we'll have to give them a big check mark there. So big thumbs up. <laughs> um, 
So, you know, I think their their next big evolution has got to be in battery charging, I would guess, because everybody wants speed to charge. Mm -hmm. So I think their next next big evolution is going to be battery technology or charging capability, mm -hmm. I would guess. Um, I don't know if they'll ever embark on solar. I suspect not. Mm -hmm. um, if I knew if I knew Elon and he's got cars and he's got rockets, why don't we just go fly cars? <laughs> right. I don't know. Well, I, maybe there's uh, yeah. there's a flying car in his future, a VTOL-ish kind of, I don't know where he's going to go, but the man is always five steps ahead of where I think he's going to be. So mm -hmm. it'd be shocking to see where he goes next in terms true. of true revolutionary technology. I don't know. True. Yeah, that's fascinating. So Monroe and Associates is out based out of Michigan. Yes. Is this your first Michigan summer meetup, your first Tesla event? No. no. Oh, okay. I've been to, I think, a, some other ones as well, but I've never been to Muskegon. This is my first time. I've lived in Michigan all my life. Okay. Been to Grand Rapids, never been to Muskegon. And so I this see. is kind of a little special event. Well, I'm looking great. forward to the light show because that should be spectacular. Yes, tonight. yes, that'll be really fun. Yeah. And tomorrow, I believe they have some events going yep, on as well. Yeah, they have an event tomorrow, mm -hmm. and then I think this ends uh, tomorrow. But yes. Right, right. Awesome. Well, fascinating. I, I know Sandy's out uh, doing a test drive with his uh, cyber truck. Uh, have you gotten a chance to get behind the wheel in the cyber truck? Uh, no. No, not, not yet. Sandy little, won't let it's, you. It's a, no, it's <laughs> mostly me. It's a, it's a very kind of. It, 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 I'm a little. It's a very large truck. It's extraordinary. <laughs> so I'm not a truck driver. Sure. Okay, I owned a Rivian. Don't. I, that's not true. So oh, okay. I had a Rivian and I loved it. But when we got, sorry Rivian, but I sold my my truck <laughs> because I have a cyber truck and a truck. I don't need two trucks. So sure. So the cyber truck, uh, we're going to keep that. And I sold my Rivian, my R1T, and so I got a bottle less plaid, which I love. Um, but so I've not not gone behind the wheel of that mostly because it's very very wide Sure, and I just got to have some time on the road by myself to sort of navigate it I heard once you get used to the, the four-wheel steer It's like that that that's kind of be it's, it's different But apparently sure. it's very easy to navigate once you figure it out I just haven't had the time to soak in it and it, sure. it's kind of imposing So I'm like, <laughs> I gotta like I gotta get well, I gotta warm up to it right right there are 13 of them here at this event. Wow. I counted okay. them. There might be more now, but it's okay. awfully impressive seeing them in person. 13. Yeah. I didn't even a, know. Well, they come from all over, right? So mm -hmm. as far as Ohio and Maryland and yeah, Florida. 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 Yeah, Florida. They're, and they're, then we've got yeah. someone from Denmark. We've got two wow. or three Germans that came in, flew yeah. in for this event. So yeah. We've got a lot, a large audience. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure meeting you. Same. Thank you, Sue.